Hey, it's Joel, and welcome to another edition of Fan Mail Friday. This one's special because I have a bit of a studio audience that may or may not appear on camera, but it's also special because I have three wonderful packages from you out there that I'm going to open up, and I'm going to do it in just a moment. You're doing fine. You're doing absolutely fine, Sean. I've never seen anyone ride them so well. That might be a lie. Ah, welcome back. This first one is special. I know lots of things are special, but this one is especially special. Words are hard. This one is especially special because this was shipped back in February of 2019. And as we know right now, it's according to my watch, uh, Friday, October 4th. So that took a while to get to us. I think we should spare no, spare no time and open it up. How do you open a box like this? I mean, just... Just, just get this slice in. Should I just yeah, like yeah, I think dive so. deep? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's like uh, it's like an ogre. It has layers. <laughs> it's a Shrek reference. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. It's a Shrek yep. reference. Mm -hmm. uh, this does have camouflage tape, so I hope I can find where to cut. The jokes, man. The jokes. They are. Really You're, you are a dad. I am. A, it's, it's total it dad. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna trim. Like right in here, and then inside we have <gasps> we have candy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's there. We oh, holy cow! Look at look at this. This is amazing. Maybe it took so long to get to me because it's just full of wonderfulness. Um. Beef snap sticks, um, Kalhari Biltong. Biltong. Biltong made from selected cuts of beef with our own traditional spice recipe for enhanced flavor. It's 100 grams of Wonderful right there. Inside we do have a letter and let's get to that. First of all, this is 10 South African, what's, what's the South African dollar? Dollary dues. That's all I got. It's not dollary dues. <laughs> it know. is not dollary dues. But there's ten. There's ten of these, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's get to this letter. Hi, Joel. That's me. As promised, snacks and candy from sunny South Africa. The price of the candy has gone way up as they have now implemented a sugar tax on candy and fizzy drinks. Hey, Seattle. That sounds familiar. They tax us on so much now, and they don't even want us in the country. Well, that's sad. Hope you enjoy all the goodies. I did add some of my country's monopoly money, but it is for you, not the children's hospital. I, I think it's just about 70 cents US. Well, I hope you and your family enjoys the snacks and the coffee. <gasps> cool. I did not include a self-addressed stamped envelope. I will come get my sticker someday when I come to the US. All the best, Frank Barrett from South Africa. Frank, that is wonderful. Thank you so much. These snacks are amazing. And it's, it's gonna, well, okay, so two things. One, it's gonna take me a while to get through these, but I promise I will. And two, it will actually not take that long because my wife and kids will steal the tasty things. So I guess I should just take what I want now because I won't get any later. But hey, you know what? You sent me, according to you, 70 cents worth of US money. And you said it's for me, but uh, I don't wanna take it. I'm gonna give it to the kids. So let's get down to business. First things first. What's next, letter or box? Uh, let's do letter, let's end on the box. End on the box. End on the box, okay. This letter is from Brandon in Whitefish MT. MT is? Montana. Montana. Where there are no speed limits. Well, there shouldn't be. Uh, Alex Steele is actually based out of Montana now. Oh, really? Inside, we have a letter. Mm. Oh. Oh my gosh. When was this sent? Because this is, okay, 13th of August. 3D printing nerd. And I can't show you the letter and you'll see why. Need help with my 3D printer. I have a TiVo 2D, one 3D printer. I hooked it up correctly, but having trouble using it, please call me or come to my house. And they give their phone number, which is a cell phone and their address and say, please, it's important. So this is Brandon from Whitefish, Montana. Brandon, um, first, I'm really sorry you're having issues with your machine. Uh, that could be really frustrating. And, and if you don't have 
people around you or a community around you that can help. I can understand how, how you must feel, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'm based in Seattle, and I can't do house calls. Um, I, I don't think I can give you a call either. I understand you're frustrated, but I think what you need to do is reach out to the 3D printing community that exists on Twitter and on Facebook. And what's going to be great is you're going to see this, and they're going to see this on this episode of Fan Mail Friday, and hopefully, hopefully, someone will leave a comment and maybe offer you some advice for dealing with your TiVo 3D printer. You did leave your cell phone and your address. Uh, I'm not going to publish that. I don't think that would be the right thing to do. But Brandon from Whitefish, Brandon from Whitefish, if you are watching this and you're not Brandon from Whitefish and you have ideas for Brandon from Whitefish, put those down in the comments. That would be awesome if you could do that. Brandon, I wish you the best of luck. Last, but certainly not least, is this post box. It says, uh, there's a customs declaration on here, and it does say PLA Real 1. One roll of PLA, that's great. The second thing it does list is sweets. So I'm kind of excited to get into this. This is from the great country of, I don't know. Uh, it's Royal Mail, oh, Great Britain. It's from the UK. Cool, let's get into this. Oh, this box opens this way. Okay, okay. There's sweets inside. We gotta find them. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is from Tim in the UK. Okay, we do have a letter. Let's set that aside. Uh, <laughs> this is a giant envelope. Uh, usually people send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to get stickers and whatnot. Um, my stickers aren't this big. Oops, my stickers aren't this big. I almost showed the address, didn't I? Sorry mm -hmm. about that. Inside the box, we have a creature of custom origins. That is for sure. We also have some wine gums, some Haribu Rainbow Twists. We have... Maynard's Bassets, licorice, all sorts. Oh, black! are you a black licorice fan, Sean? Definitely not. No, I am not either. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. So TNT, 3D printed, not real. Uh, oh, look at this. This is kind of contained. I don't know what this is. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is a Wexter Mini Joel, customized, customized with a badge, almost as if it needs a cape because it's a superhero. Look at the print quality on that, by the way. That's astounding. Yeah, that's great. I like that a lot. That's amazing. It's in a great filament too. That's, it's, that's a good filament. I don't know what it is. Okay, and then last, oh wait, oh shoot. The custom shape lost one of its hooves. Goes right there. We'll address that later. And a roll of Aerowan. I sound like I'm not saying that right. Aerowan, uh, marble PLA. My guess is that's, that's what, what that, that is yeah. printed out of. Mm -hmm. Let's get to that letter. What do you think? Oh, look at that. Okay. This is from Tim Tiernan out of the UK. Dear Joel, long time viewer, short time 3D printer owner, and first time fan mailer. You're fantastic. I really enjoyed your content for a long time in your review of the CR10 was just what I needed to convince my wife to let me get one. I know it's a couple years old now, but I got a slightly used one for a steal, and I love it. I know that you enjoy interesting filaments, so I've included a roll that I found makes some awesome looking models. Please see the super mini Joel. I was right about it being super. Uh, where did I go, where did I go? That I customized, and my maker coin, right there, I haven't seen you use one like this on your channel, so I hope I'm not sending you something you already have. Uh, I've never used this filament, and I think this type, this flavor, this, this look of it is unique, so I'm excited to give it a try. If possible and time allowing, I'd really appreciate feedback you can give me on the prints, as I'm still really new at this and want to get better. Okay, the Maker Coin is fantastic. The Maker Coin is wonderful. It looks great. I think you've done a fantastic job on design and on the print. This, the Super Mini Joel, I feel this. This makes my Friday and it looks wonderful. I am impressed and I'm really happy you sent this my way. 
I don't know what this is. Perhaps this is a child's creation. Either way, even though I don't know what it is, I like this. And I'm really sorry that the foot, the hoof, the, the thing, I'm sorry that came off, but I'll fix that with some 3D glue later. I recently caught your video on the Enable arm and decided to sign it for help. I've made two arms so far that have been, been delivered to kids who need them, pictures enclosed. So, um, Enable obviously I'll, provides the files for people to 3D print prosthetic limbs and then donate them to kids who are in need. So Tim did two, and those are the pictures right there. Good job, Tim. It's a really satisfying thing to do and I would encourage anyone watching to get involved if they have the opportunity. Since we're across the pond, I also thought you might like some of our sweets to share with Sean and the family. Aww. I hope all is well with everyone over there and you can continue to keep doing what you do. Your content has been great inspiration to me and so many others around the world. I've also included some money for the kids and an address envelope. I'm not sure what USPS will accept. Royal Mail stamps. Uh, oh, so if you're able to send me a stick or two, I'd appreciate it. That's, um, that's for sure. I can send those. Uh, P.S. Oh. His daughter, Olivia, three and a half. Uh, it is, oh, it's a dinosaur. Olivia, at three and a half years old, used Tinkercad to design this shape. And then I bet her dad, Tim, printed it out. That's awesome. That's Olivia, awesome. thank you so, so very much. Well, shoot, I just want to show you here. Timmy dropped a 20. So let's get down to business. First things first. Well, Tim, you and Olivia have really brightened my day. These prints are wonderful. The candy's great. I promise, promise I will share. But in return, I'll put some, some awesomeness in your envelope that you sent me. You and Olivia, you get stickers. Well, now it's time to close up the knife and call this episode of Fan Mail Friday good. A big thanks to everyone that sent so much awesomeness in. And uh, for you and Whitefish, I really hope you get the help for your TiVo. A big thanks to everybody that sent something in. Of course, this is not required, but if you feel the urge and the need to send something into the channel, the address you can send to is in the description of every episode. Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you all. As always, high five.